Howdy boys, it's NPC and in today's video we're going to be customizing the Ocelot Locust, which is based on some sort of Lotus vehicle. I've seen a lot of people say it's the 311, I'm not entirely sure. I've never customized this car before and I'm really interested to see how it goes. It's a very interesting looking vehicle. I didn't think it was all that nice looking right at the start, but apparently it's a really nice drive, so I guess we'll find out today. First up, we're going to max out our armor, our brakes, and our engine. For the exhaust, we have a decent amount of options here. Oh, we got the uh, the trapezoid exhaust. I'm a big fan of that one. I think this one looks pretty cool as well. The twin boxed exhaust, it kind of just seems like it fits with the build. But I do like the titanium large boxed exhaust, so that is what we're gonna go with. For the front bumper, not really liking all of the big splitter options. I like this one. The street bumper looks so clean looking. We can definitely come back to this if we need to. If we decide that we want to go for a more race-like build, the GT bumper is... it's kind of cool. For the hood, um, we can remove those little vents on the side and replace them with the twin scooped. I do like the twin scooped. Oh, that's pretty cool looking too. That's too much though. I like the twin scoops. It's a little more minimalistic. What is that piece? I don't know what that is in the middle, but it's so ugly. Please tell me if you guys know, because I would like to know what it is. Like, it really couldn't go a couple inches below the hood. It has to be jutting out like that. That's weird. For the headlights, we're gonna go Xenons. For livery, we've got some offset stripes here. Oh, that's sick. That is super cool. The Exorbed. We might have to go with the race build after all. Oh, this one is cool as well. Auto exotic. I just don't like the gray highlights. I like where they're placed. I just don't like the gray highlights. This one would look sick too. The Jackal racing livery would look pretty sick as well, but I think I really want to see what uh, the absorbed livery can do. So in that case, we're going to go back to the front bumper and make it more race-like. Oh, yeah, I'm going to go with the GT bumper. That one looks so cool. For the plate, we're going to go with yellow on black so it blends in. For the respray, okay, so the secondary color in the middle does not get changed and it remains white we can make it kind of orangish looking the yellow definitely makes it blend in i wonder if it's this no it's not quite the same type of yellow but it's really close i wonder if we go with like a maybe let's try a black primary and then for the secondary color we'll go with the yellow okay i'm gonna pick yellow for now and then we'll compare it to the black oh that's neat if we offset the black a tiny bit we still get the black effect with all of the yellow highlights, but it's not like, it's not one color and it's not intrusive. This looks really cool. It is a little, it is slightly overbearing though. What if we did a graphite? I almost like it more with the yellow, to be honest. I think it just makes the car brighter and like the accents all pop out more. I think that's what we're gonna go with. I am gonna brighten the primary color to a graphite from a black just to make it ever so slightly brighter. I think it looks a little bit nicer with the yellow like the Centenaria from Forza Horizon 3. I love that car, that is gorgeous. We can add a roll cage. Um, that's really interesting looking. Why? <laughs> this looks so stupid. I kind of want to add it though. It feels a little naked without the roll cage. Padded or no? Why are there so many? There's so many roll cages. How are these different? Oh, the colored seats. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay, I think we do go for the colored seats. Padded or not padded is the question. I personally am a fan of padding. I know it's not as, it's not as clean looking, but I think it makes sense to have padding on a race car. And I'm gonna just make those black instead of the primary color so it doesn't shine as much. I don't want it to stand out too much, I just want it to be there. And also so it doesn't contrast from the padding too, too much. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. For the skirts, we can extend these. Um, we should do something like this, yeah, where it has a black color with the secondary trimming. Okay, these are like ever so slightly different. I think we're gonna go with the racing skirt. It is a little bit big. That is pretty big. Uh, I'm gonna go with the street skirt, actually. I know it's a race car and everything, but like, it's just too much, dude. It's like a huge slab and it sticks out further from the car. I don't like how it widens the body shape. That's the illusion that it gives. So we're gonna skip out on that. For the spoiler. Oh, the stock spoiler looks so good. That's like the wing for this car. All of these are so, they're not the right shape for the Locust. I feel like they're all very angular and they have sharp edges and that's just not what the Locust is. I guess we'll just go with the primary street spoiler. I think the race spoiler is a little too high. The aggressive spoiler, 
not horrible, but the, uh, the supports go right over the text. So I think this is probably the cleanest looking and suits the body shape the most. For the suspension, we are going to drop that all the way down. Transmission, max that out. Turbo, tuned, and for our wheels, I could definitely see something like the concave racers. Hyper freshes look amazing. Endos, endos look super good. It might need something... Oh, these look so good. Synthetic Z concave. Once again, you probably throw on the modern mesh or forge star. I think the modern mesh looks really good. I think it needs something with a lot of spokes. It does come with a star by default. I like these, I just wish these were tintable. I think the oozers would look really good. I wanna try that out in the sports category. Make those black, could make them yellow. Nope, maybe carbon black. Ever so slightly brighter. How do we feel about that? Maybe we just need to look at rims in. See, now the Mercy Concaves look really good. So do the Segoys. Yeah, they look better than this one for sure. I think Mercy Concaves, that looks crazy in black. I like the little bolts on the inside too. Mercy Concaves it is. We're gonna bulletproof those tires, black tire smoke to match the theme, and that's it. That's our build. Oh, you can definitely make a cool uh, monochrome build with this. This car is a really good color placement. Very nice. Let's take it out. Here's the sound test for you guys. Interesting. I don't know how to describe it. It's definitely not your typical everyday sound. It's kind of like an in-between of... It sounds like the Grotti vehicles. It's got the Ferrari sound, but a little more insect-like, I, I guess is how I would describe it. It's a little more nasally. Not a bad sound, though. As for this vehicle's performance, um, I don't know if you guys could tell, but the acceleration is kind of crazy on this car. Let's let's see that one more time. It takes off. It hits like second gear and then it just takes off. That's really nice. The car's handling is crazy. The turning radius is crazy. You can really like get this car to move the way you want it to. That's wild, actually. I did not expect that from this vehicle. Dude, this car is so agile. That's sick, that's really cool. Seems like it has really good uh, cornering ability and handling overall, it's very sticky. You're not really gonna get it to uh, spin out. I, it seems like there's a, a tiny, tiny bit of understeer sometimes when you get up to speed, but then like the slower you go, the more, like when you use your brakes, you really have control of this vehicle. This vehicle tops out unfortunately at under 120 miles an hour it's not all that fast in a straight line it's not slow though it definitely doesn't feel very slow and i think especially with how well it handles it's going to give you a really good driving experience really underrated car i was not expecting so so much goodness to come out of it if you guys are looking to grab a Locust, you can find it under the two-door section of Legendary Motorsport for $1.1 million down from 1.6 while it's on sale. Is this vehicle worth your money? Absolutely. I think for just over a million dollars, you're getting a crazy good driving experience. On top of really good customization, the car does look a little bit funky on its own, but it's got super good customization. All of the options, maybe aside from the spoilers, were pretty satisfying to choose from. The car's got great color placement, its handling is good, its acceleration is good, its top speed is not bad. No real letdowns with this thing. So I think for $1.1 million, you're getting a crazy good package deal. That's gonna wrap it up for this customization. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed the video, comment down below, and let me know what you thought of my build. I think the Locust looks immaculate. Sub to the channel if you guys are new. There will be more videos like this coming out in the very near future, and that's about it. So take care, and I'll catch you boys in the next one. Peace.